with Jeff Snyder. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I, I'm so scared. Because seriously, folks, what's the deal with Lifetime's unauthorized Save by the Bell story, which claims it goes behind the scenes at Bayside High to expose what high school was really like for teen stars Mark Paul Gosselar, Mario Lopez, Dustin Diamond, Tiffany Amber Thiessen, Elizabeth Berkeley, and Lark Voorhees. As much as I want the past to remain there, I also want to know who was sleeping with who, and that includes Miss Bliss. Who was doing drugs in their trailers in between takes of the anti-drug episode? Who was a diva on set and was Screech's penis always that big? What did Aaron Spelling have to do to get his daughter Tori on the show? Uh, was Tiffany Amber Thiessen threatened by Leah Romini, who played Malibu Princess uh, Stacey Carosi? I want the Tori story. I want to know what the cast of the college years was thinking. I have so many questions, none of which I expect expect this Lifetime movie to answer, but so long as the network holds its junket at the max, I'll be happy. Saved by the Bell was a series both of its time and ahead of its time. And speaking of that, time out. I'm riding low in my chair today, gang, because it's confession time. Saved by the Bell was one of my very first favorite shows. Uh, I took fandom to the next level. My childhood teddy bear, it was named Preppy, which was Zach Morris's nickname, and I referred to every cooties infected girl that I had a crush on as Kelly Kapowski. Um, I even belonged to the Mark Paul Gosselar fan club and have a truly embarrassing black and white photo, uh, sort of glamour shot of Mark Paul in the pool to prove it. Now time in. Uh, now this TV movie, it's, it boasts about you know, the return of the original casting director, Robin Lippin, and I'm not sure she, that she has the same eye uh, for talent as she did in the past. I mean, she cast this kid, Julian Works, from the last Paranormal Activity movie as Mario Lopez. This kid doesn't even have a dimple. She cast a Degrassi actor named Dylan Everett as Mark Paul. He's not even a natural blonde. I will give her credit, though, for casting uh, shameless actor Sam Kinseth as Dustin Diamond. Uh, that looks pretty spot on. As for the girls, I mean, who really cares about Jesse and Lisa? It's all about Kelly Kapowski, and if newcomer Alyssa Lynch has half the pluck as Tiffany Amber Thiessen, then we're all in luck. Especially if Lifetime can convince Mr. Belding to return and play himself. Uh, if I have any advice for this cast, it's put your mind to it, go for it, get down, and break a sweat. Lifetime. You ain't seen nothing yet. Now you may be making a cheap ploy to steal two valuable hours from my Labor Day weekend, but it's all right, because I'm saved by the bell. This has been What's the Deal with Jeff Snyder. Thanks for reading therap.com. You can follow me on Twitter at TheInSnyder. What's the deal with Jeff Snyder?